Hey guys, what's going on? My name's Chopper, and welcome everybody to this video. Today, today's gonna be a wild one, guys. This is the biggest update that PUBG has received in probably as long as I can remember. So many new guns have been added, so many changes that have been made that are very important for you to know, so we're gonna go through all of that in this video. So what I'm gonna do first is go ahead and show you guys all of the new guns and all of the changes that have been made to the weapons, so you guys are up to date on that, because I'm sure that's what a lot of people wanna see, and then we're gonna go through the other gameplay updates and other patches that have been made uh, that are also very very, very crucial for you to know. But anyways, if you guys enjoy the video, drop a like rating. I'd appreciate it. Subscribe if you are brand new around here for daily PUBG content. And without further ado, let's get into it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new video. And yes, you have read the title correctly. PUBG has had three new weapons added to the game. This is this is like one of the biggest updates that we've had in months, and uh, it's changed a lot of stuff. So what we're going to do in this video is go through all of the new guns. There, it's going to be added to all the platforms coming up really soon. However, currently, it's only on the PC test server. So we're going to give them all a run and, uh, and see how they do. All right, guys. So this first one, the UMP has been changed. We no longer have the UMP-9. Uh, that we've that we've grown to love in PUBG. Now it looks pretty much the same right now, but it's been rechambered to fire different bullets. It no longer takes nine mil, and uh, in fact takes 45, which the vector used to take. So this is a completely different gun at the moment. It's going to fire differently. It's going to handle differently. So we're going to give it a little bit of test. So you guys are all familiar with the old UMP, the the good old the good old classic UMP9. You know what it feels like. You know what it sounds like. It's it's recoil, all that sort of stuff. But this is the new UMP45. So we're gonna see how much different this one is to the original. Now it doesn't it doesn't really appear to look that much different, as far as I can tell. I'd really need like a side by side comparison, but no noticeable visual differences. But it is gonna fire much differently. So let's give this a try. Wow, I, it, it already sounds so much different. Holy crap. It, it, it makes the gun feel completely like brand new and different. I mean, which it is. Um, and also one thing to note is that this is fully attached out right now, including the magazine. So this means that the old UMP would hold 40 with the extended mag. Well, this only holds 35 now. But now you're gonna have to get used to taking uh, 45 ACP to fill up your UMP now, which is weird. And they've also changed the vector, which we're gonna look at as well. But first, I think this is a really good change to the UMP because of the fact that the Micro Uzi, I I'd say was probably the best for up close and you don't really wanna be using uh, SMGs too far away. So like it was a good hybrid sort of assault rifle kind of thing, but this will make the UMP actually a bit more competitive, I think, and will be interesting to play with, but. Gun feels good, man. I can't lie. I, I actually, re I really like this change. So let's go check out the vector now. All right, guys. So check this out. This is the brand new and improved vector. Now, again, this one, similar to the UMP, looks almost the same. However, it fires different bullets now. This fires 9 mil, and we've never been used to that before. The UMP and the vector got switched for some reason. And now this means this vector is going to fire completely differently. It's going to hit so much different as well. And uh, is completely, like, not the same thing with the attachments. I'm going to take the extended off. And now this holds 19 per magazine. You put it on, and uh, it holds 33, which is a little bit of an odd number. But let's see how this fires with 9 mil. Let's give it a try. Ooh. Okay, so this one still sounds the same. For the most part. It feels like... I think it still handles the same. Yeah, nothing noticeable that I can tell that's very different. Damage is going to be like slightly, slightly different, but um, overall, this one is not as different as the UMP. They might update the sound though. This is the thing. This is only in the test server. They're still working on rolling out this update. It's not complete yet. Not, not, not fully available uh, for every, every feature. I'm not used to this firing 9 mil now because the, the bullets have different traveling speeds. And for this coming out of a vector, I don't know like what, what kind of DPS it's going to give us. You know what I mean? So it's it's something that this is also interesting because this, this might be the newest competitive SMG. This might make the micro Uzi completely unviable. All right, guys. And finally, the moment you've all been waiting for, we're going to be checking out the brand new MP5 SMG. Here it is, guys. Looks absolutely beautiful. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and take off the stock and show you. If you're not wearing it, it, it actually visually shows it as well. You can see the entire gun. It's not very big, but uh, but fully attached out. This thing might be a beast. It might be devastating. So we're going to shoot this around a little bit and see how this feels as well. Now, again, this one shoots 9 mil, similar to the Vector, similar to the Micro Uzi and also the PP Bison. Now that I think about it, we have quite a few 9 mil SMGs available in the game. So let's see. Let's see if this one really has like a niche. I'm going to fire this at the thing. Wow, oh my god, hold on. 
Yo, this is a laser. Chat. Bro, you don't even have to pull down at all. You almost have to do, like, no recoil correction. This is insane. Oh, my God. Yo, yo, yo. This, this... This is brutal. Wow. Okay, this is impressive. I see... The thing about the PP Bison is... I, I liked it, but... I didn't like it that much. I didn't think it really was super, like, competitive, to be honest, but... This might be it. This might be the true cross between an AR and uh, an SMG. Look at that. I Like, it's... You don't even want a single shot. You can just... You can just hit him with nasty sprays. Absolutely wild. This thing is clean. Um, but again, like I was saying, we have a ton of 9 mil SMGs. And I'm not really sure how these are all going to interplay together. Let me know in the comment section, what is your favorite SMG right now? I'm looking forward to playing with this man when it comes to live servers. Uh, this might be one of my new favorite weapons. I might consider running this alongside assault rifles or DMRs or something. Um, and uh, I, I'm interested to see how all the new SMG balance is going to play. But we're not, we're not done yet. We have one more thing to take a look at today. All right, guys. So the final thing we're going to look at is the brand new M16 buff. Now, obviously, you know, I've been pretty critical about this gun recently. Um, I've called it the worst assault rifle in the game. Um, PUBG has nerfed it time and time again to where it's really not that competitive with every other ar but it's been recently changed to have a a better like burst fire rate less recoil in between shots and also it can hold two new attachments so look at this right we're going to put on the tax stock and the canted sight i can't believe that i was literally talking about the canted sight not being available on the m16 um i i think like a week ago and uh it's finally here so look at this like obviously i don't have the scope right now to show you but like you can you can do either and the crosshairs change whoa that's sick look at that so here's like regular this is red dot you change it to uh canted they kind of go into an x formation that's sick I, I really like that change. Now, the problem is the only thing with the canted sight is I, I don't like some of the mechanics that it provides. And also, it is really easy just to switch quickly on scopes, like from your inventory. So it's one of those things where I don't know if the canted sight is going to be mega used on here. But I'm interested in seeing more about how the firing is now. So I'm going to try like, let's try single shot a little bit far. Okay, not bad. It's hard to pinpoint exactly where I'm hitting without like a, a long range scope, but I'm going to give it like a really fast fire test and see if there's like, I'm going to see where the cap is. Okay. I mean, that's, it, it's still, it's still capped somewhere, but it's, I think it's better than it was. So I'm going to try burst fire now. See where this is at. Oh, the first burst almost has like no recoil. Look, very controllable. The, the second and third one, if you just continue, do get a little bit crazy. So much better than it was, though. And it seems to be quicker in between shots as well from what I can what I can pick up. Oh, yeah, way quicker. I think this will make it competitive at this point. Yeah, this feels good now. This feels really good. And with a vertical or a tactical stock and a canted sight, like this has so many new options now. The canted sight does feel really weird on this because I'm just not used to it. Um, but no, it's 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 an absolutely welcome change. So much has been done to this update. So really, when it comes to it now, we have three new guns. I guess maybe technically four if you want to consider the M16 like revitalized and new. But this is it's still pretty much the base version. But the UMP45 new weapon, the vector that now shoots nine mil is completely new. This MP5, which is absolutely insane, like this might be. This might be one of my favorite weapons I've played with in a long time. Uh, this is this is insane. I love it. And then, of course, the the uh, the revival of the M16 here. I'm excited to play all with all these and uh, and see how they actually go on the battlefield. Let me know what you guys think about it, though. Are you excited for these guns? What do you, what do you think about them? So now that you've seen the guns, really quick to the other changes that you need to know, the first aid kit has been changed. Now, normally when you would cast the item, it would take a couple seconds and your health would be instantly restored to 75. But now it's going to take two seconds after you cast the item to get your health back. Kind of similar to like a bandage, but now you're not going to get your health instantly back from the first aid kit. So that's a big change that players going to have to adapt to pretty quickly. Not only that, but hollow sights can now be applied on pistols, which is cool. SMG and pistol attachments has have also been combined, so they're interchangeable with each 
each other, which is really nice. It might encourage the use of a pistol from this point on. The tax stock in and of itself has just caught a huge buff and is going to help with your overall weapon stability on everything. And now it can also be applied to the MK47 Mutant along with the M16, which is really cool to see. The bullet loops attachments have just been combined into one and are now just simply ammo loops. So you're not going to have to really sort them out anymore from what I understand. And a really good thing, not to mention the Erangel loot has been rebalanced. Now, this isn't the remastered version of the rebalance, but they're giving us a little more to tide us over until this remaster is ready. And I've already played a, a match or two with the new Erangel spawns, and there's a lot more ARs laying around. It is easier to set up than it used to be. However, they don't want to make it like Sanok, where you're instantly set up in like a minute or so, because that's not really the point of the, the spirit of Erangel. It's more about surviving on what you have and in desperate need. And, and I, I feel that. I really understand the vibe they're trying to go for there. But guys, let me know inside the comment section what you think about this big PUBG patch coming out. This is going to be rolled out very soon for PC, and then it's going to be hitting every other platform shortly after. So this is a little bit of a taste of what you guys are going to be experiencing. If you have any feedback on something that maybe should be changed, let me know inside the comment section, as uh, PUBG Cork will be listening and will be looking at these reviews for it. I actually can't wait to play these new guns. Like, it sounds so exciting, and, I, and it's really appreciated that they're still making big moves for this game this far into its life cycle, and people are still enjoying it, which is great. So anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching the video if you enjoyed it make sure to leave a like rating subscribe if you're brand new and go check out my second channel link is inside the description that's where i'm doing live streams so if you want to continue to interact with me that is the place to be but guys thank you so much for coming out today appreciate you for watching i'll see you all on the next live stream or the next video take it easy and peace out